<laughs> um, Cottonelle did a research study, and they dug up some um, pretty uh, unclean and sordid information about Americans. Um, they found out that a lot of us like to multitask um, while we are on the toilet. So people like to read, talk, text. Um, but in order of, I'm like laughing because it's always funny to talk about bathroom stuff for me. Like I, I'll talk about it at the dinner table. I'll talk about it on Twitter. I'll talk about it to like someone's dad. I don't care. I, I have no shame. I love talking about that kind of stuff. So in honor of Sherry's ability to make taboo topics fun to discuss, spoiler alert: Chelsea and I have secretly been hosting this hangout from our bathrooms. Ah, as you can toilet. See. That's a real functioning flushable toilet behind me. Yeah. Real toilet paper. They don't have it folded into the square like when you go to a fancy hotel, like you know it's a nice hotel and it's got a toilet paper square. But um, anyway, yeah, we're in a bathroom because we're not afraid. But I don't know. I don't even know why it's so uncomfortable for people to talk about. I mean, like everyone has to go to the bathroom, and yet it's so it's such a taboo subject, especially for women. And actually, we really want to hear from our audience on this. So please comment below or tweet at Lies with Meredith to let us know what your Potty routine activities are and what you do to pass the time using the hashtag Let's Talk Bums. Well, so I have a tweet that I just got right here. It's from at B Deal, who boldly stated, I don't do any activities well on the toilet, LOL. Um, I'm just going to, I don't know you at BD, B Deal. I'm sure you're a lovely man or woman, um, but I'm going to go ahead and call BS on that. Um, you've at least read a magazine. Um, you've maybe, I don't know, sung a song, like I will cop to even, like, if I have a really small typical New York bathroom, I call it my airplane bathroom because it's about the same size, but if I see, like, some schmutz on the floor while I'm using the lavatory, which is what we had to call it in elementary school, I like to sometimes call it the lab, makes me sound smarter, um, I will, like, clean something up off the floor, like, literally my bathroom is that small that I can reach, you know, like, take some toilet paper, wet it, clean something up. And you saved a flush, which is also good for the environment because you're already using the bathroom. Um, but anyway, so getting back to the task at hand, because I really tangent when it comes to potty talk, Cottonelle suggests that um, when you're doing your biz, you use both their Fresh Care Flushable Cleansing Cloth, followed by toilet paper, Chelsea, discuss. Um, I, I've, I've been known to baby wipe every now and again. Um, I feel like... The, the, the wet, the moist wipes definitely add uh, a certain level of depth to your cleaning experience. <laughs> um, I, I can't lie. However, when it, com when it comes to like, the activity side, I did not have a smartphone until like three months ago. So I have been a little bit less proactive than other people. I'm more traditionalist in that sense. So you're um, more of like a, a book reader on the toilet? I, yeah. yeah I'm not going to say book, like a, a, an, a Us Weekly or something. Oh. Um, you don't get highbrow in the job. I'm not, like, reading War and Peace on the toilet. Um, <laughs> For when you have a really long, you know, task. <laughs> God. Um, yeah, that's that's probably intestinal problems. Right. But, um, You've been, been there, girl. Amen. Been there. <laughs> we need to get back to that activity study for a minute because okay. the world is watching and they want to know what activities you've done while sitting on the porcelain throne. Um, I mean, like I said, I have cleaned stuff up. I have, not often, but, like, that's just, like, I'm really anal, no pun intended. Um, and I do like to multitask, so if I see something that needs to be, you know, just, like, some makeup residue that's on the floor. Um, I have totally texted. Um, I have heard people on their phone at work. Usually if I text, it's at home. So, uh, Chelsea, if you get a text from me lately, there might be some subtext that it was um, taken while I was taking my time making my business. But I do... Um, you know, it, it's kind of uh, ironic that I judge people, it's hypocritical that I judge people for doing the same thing while I'm in my work bathroom and I can, like, hear them texting or talking on the phone. I think that's a private thing to go to the bathroom, obviously, but also to text. So I don't, I'm not into that when you can tell someone's doing that. Like, that's it's fine if I do it, but, like, stop. It's always weird when you'll have, like, you'll be in a stall and the person next to you in the stall will be having a full-on conversation on the that, phone. That's openly. what I'm saying. Yeah. It, like, it's like, I know what you did last summer. Like, I know what you're doing. Yeah. And it, like, implicates everyone around them. Yes. Uh, and, yeah, it's so awkward. Like, I don't know. My, I do have a rule, though, lest you think I'm, like, gross. If I use the phone while I'm using... 
while I'm using the restroom, I obviously put it down in a safe place so it doesn't fall into the toilet or sink. I also clean the phone case up. Maybe you don't care, but I think I just want to put that out there. You know, if that's what you're doing, you should you should kind of think about the repercussions and you have to, you know, clean your phone up. Phones are dirty. It's like lipstick, like they're dirty. Um, but so we just got a, a tweet in who said, and so Nicole, actually, sorry, this is from Google Plus. Uh, Nicole L., who's riveted by our potty talk in the actual bathroom, says, I concentrate on what I'm doing, LOL. There's something about potty talk that brings out the lulls in people. Um, that's good. I appreciate sort of an old school person who just wants to do one thing at a time and doesn't have like 50 screens open, either on their computer or metaphorically in their head. Um, at Billy Badbird on Twitter said, I retweeted this from the toilet and my dog is watching. Now that's oh, one of no. the, well, that's one of those grammatical things where like specifically, is your dog watching your tweet? Is your dog watching the show? Is your dog watching you go to the bathroom, which is a little gross. Like I won't let my cats be in the bathroom if I'm in the bathroom just because they have that's their like, eyes. That's like your pet watching you have sex. It feels yeah, like exactly. extremely violating. Exactly. Like, dude, like, you could lay anywhere you want. Like, you're going to lay on the kitchen floor. You're not going to be in the room while I'm t doing things. Like, you're take advantage of being a pet. Anyway, let's yeah. move 